All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 40th IEEE Security and Privacy Symposium. I'm your general chair, Mark Gondry. Uh, thank you for all being here. This is a truly exciting year. Oh, I have a thing that lets me advance slides. Sorry about that. Welcome to San Francisco. This is our 40th year. Uh, we are here for the second time at the Hyatt Regency San Francisco. We're in the middle of a, a multi-year contract with this space, and we're excited to be making great use of this iconic uh, um, hotel. Um, this is a truly exciting year. It's our 40th symposium, so it's an anniversary year for us, according to the IEEE. Uh, it's a debatable among our community if we should celebrate it this year or next year, but this is our 40th symposium and we are celebrating that. It was an amazing program. We have a tremendous program. We accepted 84 papers, which is a huge increase relative to last year. What a giant, exciting program we have this year. We have astounding attendance. Our attendance is up relative to last year. We have broken another record in terms of you all in this room today. We awarded more travel grants to students than ever before, an astounding increase to support to our students to come to this event. And we saw greater donor participation than ever before, sort of huge donor turnout, gigantic thanks to our generous donors for supporting our travel grants program and the symposium. And all of this really couldn't be possible without an amazing set of volunteers in this community that use their time to try to make this program together. So please join me in thanking the amazing organizing committee that worked for like over a year and a half to bring this together. Thank you to all of you. And thank you especially to our technical committee who provided uh, more guidance than ever to us as we worked with our program growth and our 40th celebration. So thank you, Sean, Olfar, Yong, and EJ for helping us this year. Thank you to our donors, our gold donors, or platinum donors, ARL, Microsoft, and NSF. Uh, if you are supported by a student travel grant, it is likely due to the support of ARL and NSF especially. So please thank them if you see them, if you uh, receive support for travel grants. Thank you. Thank you to our gold donors. Our uh, recurring support from our gold donors is extremely appreciated. A vast Cisco, Facebook, Google, thank you. And thank you to our silver donors who, uh, I couldn't fit them all on the slide easily, so they're gonna appear one by one so I get them in the right order. Baidu, CERT SEI, IBM Research, Intel, uh, KAUST, the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, Lincoln, MIT Lincoln Labs, the NSA, ONR, Palo Alto Networks, Symantec, Visa Research, and VMware. Thank you to our silver sponsors, an amazing turnout. Thank you to our bronze sponsors, long time dedicated support from IAI, our new sponsor Siege Technologies, as well as thank you to uh, Now Publishers, River Publishers, and Springer. And also thank you for in-kind support from the IEEE Security and Privacy Magazine. On our 40th page, there's actually a link to a special offer from IEEE Security and Privacy Magazine. So show your support and interest in the magazine and sign up. They're giving us some free articles in support of our 40th anniversary. Thank you, Security and Privacy Magazine. We have an amazing program of events. It's a huge program. Tonight is the poster reception. It's in the atrium. It's not downstairs this year. It's upstairs where we had breakfast. In the middle of the poster reception, you can take your drink and go on over to Short Talks. It's on the same level. It's just basically adjacent to the poster session. Toward the end of the poster reception is our speed mentoring. We moved it earlier this year to try to make those connections with mentors earlier to try to enjoy them all week long. Tuesday, we have our paper awards in the morning. And then in the afternoon session, Matthias Payer, our 40th uh, uh, celebration chair, has uh, crafted a kind of really exciting session in which we have a uh, panel moderated by Giovanni Vigna with Deb Frinke, um, uh, Peter Neumann, um, Dick Hemmerer, um, 
and Dorothy Denning, uh, astounding sort of uh, fan favorites. We actually kind of surveyed all past organizers and said, who do you want to hear from at our 40th? And we had a big list, some names kept reoccurring. We asked those names, they all said yes, it's an amazing panel. After that, we're going to start a new tradition. We're having our first Test of Time Awards in which we celebrate um, things that, uh, results from Oakland that have withstood the test of time. After that, we're gonna have a light reception where we're gonna reflect and connect and celebrate and have some cake. And then after that is our technical committee meeting. And as a reminder, everyone is invited to come back in and go to our technical committee meeting. Uh, then on Wednesday, after the final session, we have a bridging reception that everyone from the workshops and the symposium is welcome to attend. And after that, on Thursday, is our workshops. We have five awesome recurring workshops. And the programs for all the workshops are online and also in your printed program. This week, we have a scavenger hunt. It's part of our 40th celebration. Matthias has set up a Jeopardy-style CTF that is filled with Oakland-themed trivia and challenges. And it starts today. The link on our 40th page is active. You can jump online now and create a user ID and start answering trivia questions. There are some hidden flags in your program. There are some interactive things where you have to take photos of people. It'll be really fun. There's a leaderboard. At the end of the event on Wednesday at noon, we're gonna close down the scavenger hunt. The top 40 people on the leaderboard will win a very exclusive 40th anniversary souvenir. I say very exclusive because we're not gonna make them ever again, and they are what they are. They're kind of fun little mugs. But also bragging rights. That's what we actually do it for, right? Bragging rights. So please participate. Some reminders and announcements. Uh, the media, all the papers for this are on a, the online compendium. They're available at that link. Uh, it's also on the back of your badge. We're video recording uh, as many talks as speakers allow us to, and they'll be posted to YouTube shortly after the conference. Please participate online with Twitter. Use the hashtag SP19 and send things at IEEESP. We'll retweet them. Um, and let's keep this kind of uh, extended into cyberspace so that people who couldn't make it know how awesome this is and can be extremely jealous of what we're enjoying, especially photograph food. Everyone loves food pictures. Some notes from the hotel. Uh, after our plenary sessions, many of them are gonna transition the room into two. So like af at the break here, we'll be transitioning into two sessions to get our dual track so we can feature this giant program. Uh, the room transition might encounter uh, hotel staff asking you if you could kind of get out of the way as they transition the room. Don't take offense. They're just trying to get you back in session as quickly as possible, so you might be asked to move. Uh, seating in each of the two rooms is maximized for this setup, so we can't bring in more chairs and we can't move chairs from room to room. So we have to help each other out as a community. Uh, take your bags off chairs, help people identify where there are open seats. Do not be afraid to walk to the front of the room to get an open seat if the session has already begun. We have to kind of help each other out to maximize the use of both rooms because it might be tight. We have huge attendance um, and some sessions might be more popular than others. Uh, also, just as a note, a couple inches outside the glass that way is downtown San Francisco. We are essentially on the street level of downtown San Francisco. We are in an unsecured public space where people can wander in from the street. And due to the nature of this being a popular venue for conferences, this is a target of professional thieves who dress like conference goers and steal laptops and cell phones. Be aware of your things. This isn't a problem that can be fixed by security. They look just like us. Don't leave your things unattended. Um, have a friend watch them, uh, secure them away and take them with you. And also uh, the same with uh, at meals, we've asked the hotel to check for badges. So you might be asked to show your badge before you get into breakfast or a meal. Please don't take offense, they've been asked to do this. It's a way to preserve the part of, the most expensive part of your registration fee, the food and beverage. Also uh, a correction, our program has a misprint. Uh, many of our papers went through ethical disclosure processes and were embargoed for a period of time, so the online program just had titles redacted. We unredacted them as of last night, and so the titles appeared. All of the unredacted titles are in your printed program, but sadly, these two papers 
had a typo in our printed program. We mixed up the titles. So big apology to the authors that like the LBM uh, paper is in session 11 and is not in session one. Um, I apologize to the authors that we mixed up their paper titles. And as a final reminder, the code of conduct that we enacted last year to make sure that this is a professional and enjoyable environment for all of our conference attendees is kind of, uh, we're maturing our policies to meet our values this year. You'll notice uh, attendees who have a white ribbon that says code steward. We have a number of volunteers who are acting this year to help us with our code of conduct violations. So if you see something that you perceive to be a code of conduct violation, you can call that number, it'll reach all of our code stewards. Or you can go to the registration desk and ask to contact a code steward. And that person will help out, take a report, try to mediate, and help enforce our conference code of conduct. As we go to multi-track, this is more than a one-person job. So I'm extremely grateful to our code stewards who are helping us this year make sure that this is a professional, enjoyable environment for all and that we actually have procedures that meet our values. And with that, I am happy to introduce your 2019 program chairs, Christopher Krugel and Hovev Shockham, but Christopher Krugel will be presenting. Thank you.